In today's video, I'm going to show you why Clash of Creators ended my career. On the 25th of July, the UK had its first YouTube public event since the Pancopolypse. It was a footballing event, and I knew I had to be ready for it. Let's think about some of the world's best football players. Take for example, Phil Foden, Paul Pogba. What did they have in common? Trims. So I hit up my good pal Connor to sort me out with a haircut that will match the player I'm trying to be on the pitch. To be like the best, you need to train like the best. So I'd been in the gym doing conditioning training to make sure Morgs didn't send me for a ham sandwich. As you can clearly tell, I'm in unbelievable shape. So I decided to go test out my new trim and my new toned body on the football pitch. I chose the biggest keeper I could find. I guess I'm missing one thing, the trim. Meet Smokey Jack. Need I say more? Oh yeah. Charlie rocks, bruh. You make videos. Terrible. He's got 69 on the back of his shirt. And that, 69, that's, that's the funny number. That is a funny number, very ha 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 ha. Like, really I think it's funny as 420. 69! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I do think Roxburgh is the weak link in the team. Bruh, 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 bruh. First game down, got the dub. Now the thing is, I know that a lot of people are here to watch me and me alone. So I think, you know what, I'm gonna go and spend a little bit of time with my fans. Just ask them who they're supporting, just so I know. Let's go meet you. Number one, who are you here to support today? Um, the white team. Like Jack Mate and stuff like that. That one, there was a violation. Who's sporting? Navy team for uh, like Tom GW Marley. Yeah. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Zach, who's sporting today? Chris. Who's sporting today? Hi Face. Who's sporting today? Probably like uh, Alright, who are you here to sport today? Probably the white team. Okay, who on there? Uh, Jack Mate, especially Ramel. You know, they've put in some good shifts today, so I'm impressed by the players. Yeah, I like the blue team. Blue team. Who on there? Yeah, you as well. And Fogden, Fogdad, Goats. Yeah, Navy team, got to be Fogdad. Yeah, Navy team, uh, Fogdad, the Bolton, Steve Bruce. <laughs> Strong turnout for me. How, how do you feel about Charlie Roxburgh? I, his new hairstyle is interesting, like, I'll be honest, Charlie. Um, great guy, though, other than that, no qualms. I fucking hate that man. Charlie has a small pee pee. Oh, that's what I've heard. Oh, yeah, okay. Confirmed. Like a Kendall. Okay, so I'm back home now. It's been a couple days. I've got stinky internet back in this gaff, but I'm going to react to uh, the Clash of Creators performance so you can understand why my career has now sadly ended. All right, so that's our team. We are absolutely elite. And that is a handsome man that is walking across the screen right now. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, so this is Chris MD, you know, like we said to him, all right, you're going to be on free kicks before the game. So it was always going to be between him and Charlie Morley. Now have this for a whip. This is technique and a half. Look at this. Whippers. Alex could have scored. He's got in. Jack May's about to clear off the line. Thogden. Thogden, by the way. What an absolute baller. Well, I don't know what that celebration is. Maybe it's like McDonald's one. I'm loving it. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Track it. Get out! Get out! You don't beat me! We didn't have any natural centre-backs in centre-back, which did, didn't help. So I tried to stand him up, and then Pie Face, what a hero. Oh, what a lovely guy. What a lovely guy. And he was so sad um, when he conceded uh, two of the goals, and he was blaming himself. And he made some unbelievable saves that tournament. So you know what, Pie Face, if you're seeing this, shout out to you, man. Like, what a lovely guy. Ah, oh, stop it. Stop it. It was such a shame that his neck went. He does not have the fitness for that. And then he's definitely left the foul in there. But, <laughs> but what a great run. Look. See? Where I stepped there, I stepped perfectly in time because I knew that ball was coming straight there. I didn't actually know that their left back was also in. If Eman decided to give the ball to him, then it would have been awful defending. But that being said, I thought and I anticipated it going to Sava. So I stepped forward. So you see me standing up right there. He's off. He was fuming. He didn't think he was off. But unlucky. You're off. Sava in for the ball. And you see? And you don't beat me! They were saying on the commentary as well, I expect he's going to beat the man. They don't know me! And this is a great touch from, from a Charlie Morley. And bang! Now, a top-class keeper would have probably saved that, but a lot of keepers probably wouldn't. It was perfectly driven across the floor, bang in, done and sorted. Absolutely cushy. Handsome man throwing a ball. Chris MD over the ball. And this guy, you've seen him do it against everyone. Do you know how close that was? Do you know how close that was? See, this was the one on goal which Pi was blaming himself for. And you know what? Not even going to be hurt. It was a good finish. And I was pissed off at myself there. I was pissed off at myself because I, I was this far away. 
Did you see how close that my, my look my toe? Please don't meme that by the way, Cal, I beg you. Bet. Alright, this is second half. This is where my career ended. The ball comes forward. I've anticipated this pass. I've stepped forward and as I've turned here to drop uh, where Eman dropped his shoulder, my back's just gone. If you've watched my body transformation video, I was basically saying about how I did my back in doing deadlifts. I've been really careful to try and like bring myself back. Just be like, ah. And I felt fine going to the game. That's why I had a really solid first half. That's why like, no one was getting past me. And then my back went and I was like, ah. The ball's come forward. And Alvin just absolutely left Tom GW for dead, by the way. He's left him for dead. Cut in, Vuj, centre back could have done a bit better, but it is what it is, 2-2. Two, two. We love Vuj, he's having a nice, look at him, having a nice, hey, having a nice. <laughs> I love Vuj. <laughs> look at him, oh, you what a hero of the men. Right, Vuj has got to be one of the nicest dons ever. Alright, ball through to Charlie Moore, he's got pace and he's got technique. Look at this, by the way. Skin, left for dead. Bang. Bang. Holy bloody moly. All right, Sava, baller. Look at this whip. Great save from Pie Face. I'm giving you a clap. Look at us. We love Pie Face, but I was telling everyone to fix up because they were going to take a quick corner. And that was me slapping Vuj's ass. All right, so we're getting a team talk from uh, Thug Dad. <laughs> if you see, like, I, I was really, really stressed about this. Not going to lie. All right, so coming up here, this is the point where my back went. So I'm just standing him up. That's the best thing you do. And literally at that point, my back was just like really, really not good. And I was just like, you know what? I'm done. And that's me going down. And this is where my career is over. Not going to lie. Shouldn't be getting injured at that age. Uh, so the funny thing with this really was the three boys from Antisocial. You had myself with my back went. I'm supposed to be the old man in Antisocial. That's the running joke. You had Cam, he's cricked his neck so he can't turn apart from looking like Tutankhamun. Carmoon. And then you had Lewis Buchan who was just shitting his pants. Like he had the runs. Like it was it was really bad. Like whoever this guy is here, by the way, really good at your job, by the way. Like really good. He looked after me off the pitch. Uh, but the medics were just like, uh, no, you can't come back on the pitch. I was a shame. I was gutted because I was really having a good time up until my back went. And this is such a shame. Because, ah, uh, he was shush shushing the crowd, by the way. I don't know who you were shushing, mate. Alex is absolutely hoofed up in the air. And blood clot. I don't know what the hell has happened here. But what a great save. Holy moly, I didn't see that. Oh, Nash, what a save. I mean, and Sharky and Alex were okay after this. So, like, get up. <laughs> All right, so he's, he's rinsed Ellis there. He's gone past Cam... Couldn't catch in there, and he's just hooked in. I wasn't happy, but it is what it is. Like, it was a good little run. And look, I've tackled him. Look, I've tackled him here. I said, yeah, I tackled you. <laughs> oh, I don't know why he's done that then. Fair enough. And you know what? That's what it is. I'll be really honest. I was extremely proud to be part of an event uh, like Clash of Creators. I thought it was extremely well run. It was a great idea, and it came at the perfect time for what's happened in the last two years. It had everyone that was like there to enjoy like the moment and the time. So to be honest with you, shout out to Tom, Tamika, and Callum G for pioneering such a fantastic event. I don't want to talk too much about it, but it has been raised uh, the Lawrence and True Geordie comments. If you want me to turn up to these things... You've got to be a paid member. Yeah. Ranty a... is dressed like your first version of a football manager sim. I nabber. Just rolled out of bed 20 minutes I'm ago. I'm confused. Uh, and to be honest with you, I'd like to refute half the stuff that they have said. I thought that... Some of the comments, i.e. like I wasn't paid to be there. I think that, I don't know whether he was talking about the the zone event or whether he was talking about this event, but they were talking about these kind of influencer events, so to speak. And no one was paid to be there unless they were, I guess, doing a job. There were people who were actually working. With all due respect, there were people who were bigger than both of them uh, who were at that event just because they wanted to have a good time. The focus should have been on mental health, i.e. the charity, and also the first YouTube event in the UK. And that, was a wholesome event. So to hear things about negativity, about Becky and Ranty and Fraser, uh, how the event was run, the graphics, everyone makes mistakes. And as an event, I thought for the first event, that was run really well. There was progress that could be made and there was lots of things which I could have thought would could have been improved on, but then you give that criticism in private to help them grow. They managed to give me a memory and give a lot of people a memory, which we won't forget for a long time. It was not the biggest event in the world, but it was way, way, way better than what most people could have done given the time of COVID and also how small 
they were when they started. They've managed to get from the very bottom, the biggest creators in the UK. You've got people who are actually talking about and are interested because that's what the focus should be on is positivity and encouraging people to be the best that they can be, not shitting on it. So I'm gonna sign this out. I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who supported me and thank you to everyone who's actually supported the event. I'll see you next week for a video. Take care.